okay so welcome to the next lecture uh, where we will discuss about tensile strength of code okay so first i must tell you that tensile strength of code is a special condition okay that means special condition uh, by special condition special case i mean that it's not applicable everywhere okay you have to understand that where the bolt is experiencing tension okay it's not everywhere that the bolt will experience tension right suppose this is my bolt okay and th uh, suppose here are two plates okay and this is suppose a lap joint okay this is a lap joint now what happens when this plate moves here and this plate moves here obviously the bolt here will experience shear okay so it will not experience any tensile strength for experiencing tensile strength there must there are some cases where the bolt experiences tensile strength okay so for example if you see a pipe pipeline means the pipeline which have very large diameter which are used in municipality which are used by municipality to transfer drinking water okay so those pipes are quite big and where the pipes are joined you will see lots of um, lots of bolts there i will show you one figure so can you see here this is a flat uh, this is a pipe okay these are two pipes and it these are connected by bolts now when there is a fluid in this pipe this bolts will experience tensile force okay this bolt will try to elongate in this direction okay similarly another example is this hanger connection okay see here something will be hanged okay so these bolts these bolts will experience directly the tensile strength okay so for these cases only this this tensile strength we have we will have to uh, find out okay so so until now you have understood that tensile strength of bolt is a special one special case right special case so please be careful while using this formula for tensile strength of code don't use it anywhere okay so first of all this is applicable this is applicable only when the bolt experiences tensile strength or tensile force okay so let's start okay so the formula here is like p n d equals to 0.9 f u b into a n d okay so uh, as i have said, said earlier this is force this is the stress part and this is the area part so force equals to stress into area simply so this is the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt this is the obviously a and b so this is the net area of the bolt that is the 78 percent of the gross area or the shank area okay so this is 0.9 fub into a and b okay so again this is the nominal tensile strength of the bolt so if we if we divide it by a factor of 50 that is gamma mb this becomes tensile design tensile strength of the bolt that is pdb so there we will divide it by a factor of safety partial factor of safety of material for bolt and one thing that this should be less than fy into asp multiplied by gamma mb by gamma m0 okay and this is further again divided by gamma mb into 1 by mb because of this partial factor of safety so as you can see here this gamma mb gamma mb will cut and what will remain here is fy asp and divided by gamma m0 okay so i will explain each of these terms one by one so as you can see here here we have used fy okay first i will write all the terms fub is the ultimate tensile strength ultimate 
Docile strength of pole. Fyb is the yield strength of the pole. Okay, and gamma mb is the partial factor of safety for material or bolt equals to 1.25 gamma m0 is the partial factor of safety for material when the bolt experiences yielding this is the factor of safety for material resistance governed by yielding this value is 1.0 okay ASB is the shank area AM, AMB is the net area that is again equal to 0.78 into ASB okay so as you can see here that this portion this portions include ultimate tensile strength but here the area becomes reduced okay because we are using the reduced area that is the net area again here you be here this yield strength reduces that is fyb fyb is generally what 250 mpa and fub is equals to what 400 mpa if the bolt is of grade 4.6 okay so if 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 grade 4.6 bolt are used then what will be the FUB? FUB will be equals to 400 MPa. Okay. And what will the FYB? FYB is equals to 0.6 into 400. That is equals to 240 MPa. Right. So as you can see, FYB is a much smaller value than this. But here the shank, here you are taking the shank area. Okay. So we can say that we have to compare between two strengths. We have to we have to first find out the tensile strength of the bolt by this formula okay then again we have to find out the tensile strength of the bolt by this formula and we have to take the minimum of them okay and yes this has to be less than this one okay so we have to we have to like see we can say that that ultimate ultimate strength for ultimate strength for net area versus yield strength of gross area just remember this when we are using ultimate strength ultimate tensile strength we will use net area and when we are using yield strength we will use gross area okay so this is all about tensile strength of bolt thank you and have a nice day and in the next lecture we will discuss about we will discuss about the combined effect of combined effect of shear and tension Thank you.